I'm going to bar model a basic ratio problem for you. We'll start by reading the question all the way through. Then we're going to rewrite the question in the form of a sentence so the students know where they're trying to end up. I've put a demarcation here to give some structure to the students. On the right hand side, they'll put their arithmetic. On the left hand side, they'll put their bar model. So we'll read it all the way through, answer sentence, then we're going we're to read back through and we're going to stop where we can draw something, draw a bar in particular. So let's go ahead and begin. A teacher has 20 ungraded papers. She has four times as many graded papers as ungraded papers. Good for her. How many graded papers are there? So we're going to rewrite the question in the form of a sentence. There are blank graded papers. Okay, now we're going to read back through and stop where we can draw a bar or something. A teacher has 20 ungraded papers. So we have ungraded. We know that that is repre represented by 20, the quantity of 20, a bar. She has four times as many graded papers. So we have graded. And four times as many means that I'm going to have four of these. How many graded papers are there? So we are looking for the total number of graded papers. Now notice this is a, a problem where you're going to have to elaborate a little bit. You're going to have to understand that this is one unit and this is one unit. So this is also going to be 20. And so the students from there can say that 20 times 4 is equal to the same thing as 2 times 4 times 10, or just let's keep it simple, 20 times 4 is 80. So there are 80 graded papers. You can elaborate on this a little bit more. So if you're wanting to challenge your students, you can ask them how many more, how many more graded papers are there than ungraded papers. So make the most of your bar model opportunity here. But we'll leave that for another time.